Hello everybody, my name is Kelsey and we're about to get very, very nerdy with Owl Crate. So today I thought what we would do is we would unbox this January Owl Crate. I will say disclaimer that I'm not a representative of them. I just really, really love their boxes. I get them every month and I've been super, super stoked for January's. And I thought it might be fun to show you guys what's inside. I know personally I absolutely love watching unboxings, so I thought we would go in and see what's inside this box. If I remember correctly, January is fearsome fairy tales or something along those lines. I'm not gonna cut myself with these scissors. That could've been really bad. Show you guys what's inside first. This, whoop, but this is what it looks like. Of course, I would drop it. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, this is what the spoiler card looks like. Um, it looks kind of like Snow White to me. Voldemort's kind of creeping in the background. It's really pretty, and of course on the back it has everything that's in this box, which I'm not gonna look at because I don't wanna be spoiled. First thing I see on here is, of course, a little pen that goes along with it that is the exact same as the card. All I can think of is the Evil Queen from Snow White. So the first thing I see on here is this little box, and it says, Okay, I think this is one of those wax burners that you plug into the wall. It's in a lot of a lot of padding. It's one of these little wax candles that you can put a candle here and you can put wax right there and like burn wax. Oh, it's also got a little owl crate on the bottom. That's cute. It's inside. Oh look, look, there's even it comes with wax. Okay, let's see if I can open this without hurting myself because plastic and I are really not friends. Oh! It kind of smells like vanilla. Fireside candle, the Hansel and Gretel themed. It's made specifically for Owl Crate. Kind of smells like vanilla to me, but it's purple. Oh, I was wrong. So the candles, according to the little spoiler card, are actually gingerbread. Though gingerbread makes sense. Oh, more sense for Hansel and Gretel. It's not what I expected. You put one of these little squares in this with a candle underneath it. That's so cool, I'm a huge fan. The next thing in here that I see is, I think, a bracelet. Authored Adornment is what this place is called. It has Rapunzel and the little thing. It's in faux leather. This box is themed really well. It's like all dark colors. I don't have a lot of bookish bracelets, which is weird. I feel like I would have a lot more, but no, just kidding. I have one now, so yay. Ooh! Is that a pillowcase? The next thing I see is, I think it's a pillowcase. I just gotta get into it because I can't wait. Yes, I was correct. It's totally a pillowcase. This is what it looks like. It's got Once Upon a Dream on it. That's really pretty. This pillowcase is made by Stella's Bookish Art. It is inspired by the tale of Sleeping Beauty. Oh, I'm a fan. I'm gonna put this over so many pillows. Next, we have this gorgeous print that looks like Little Red Riding Hood. This print is made by Anne Lambert. I'm like partial to prints because I don't know where to put them in my room. So I don't really do a whole lot with them, but I have put some Owl Crate prints over my desk. So this would probably just go right along with it. That's kind of cool. He kind of blends in with the, <laughs> with the trees and everything. And of course, we are now down to the book. I have so much plastic everywhere. Oh, cool, okay. So this book is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. That's a really pretty cover. What does it look like? What? Okay, if you take the cover off, look at that. That's so pretty. It comes with a little sticker that says there's always something left to lose. It's a little Owl Crate exclusive sticker. And of course, it comes with the author's letter to you. And the great thing about this month, this is one of the things that I was most excited about, is starting now, for the next six months, they are having all of their books actually physically signed by her, or whatever author it is, so from now until whatever six months is, like June or something, all of the books are signed by her, so you don't get the little plate anymore. Let's see what this book's about. I'm just going to read to you what the card says because I don't think I'm actually gonna do this justice. It says, when Jude was young, her parents were murdered and she's taken away to a realm of fairies. As she comes of age, she struggles to find her place in the world of the Fae and among peers who hate her. She's bullied relentlessly by Prince Cardin, the youngest and most ruthless son of the High King. When Jude is offered a chance at making it into the High Court, she'll have to risk everything to defy Prince Cardin in ways she never imagined, thus beginning a dangerous journey filled with 
with political intrigue, deception, and bloodshed. The Cruel Prince is a lush and intriguing story with the most flawed yet wonderful written characters. Well, I hadn't heard of this. I'm really not in time with books. I always get them like three years after they come out. So that's really cool. I'm very excited about this. And then of course it comes with your little leaflet. Ooh, the cover's really different. If you look, this is what the actual cover looks like. And of course this is the Owl Crate cover. A huge difference this time. And of course on the bottom is your little card saying what next month is. And next month is Hidden Worlds. On the back of this card they always have a Spoiler, we're gonna get something from Evie Bookish. It's a very large, if they say it's gonna be a very large item that they've never included before, and it's not a mug. I assume things like, you know, Alice in Wonderland and things like. My roommate's cat is being loud. Hold on. Could you, like, not do that, please? I assume things like, you know, Alice in Wonderland and things like that are gonna be in Hidden Worlds. Maybe some Narnia going on in there. So if you look in the little like leaflet they gave you, it gives you more about the February theme and it says it's going to include things from Daughter Smoke and Bone, Coraline, and the Chronicles of Narnia and more. I guess Chronicles of Narnia would probably be in there. Coraline makes total sense. Um, I still assume that there's probably something Alice in Wonderland themed. I feel like you need it if it's Hidden Worlds but I could be wrong. I'm super excited. This was a really cool box. So that's all I have for you guys in this owl crate. I hope you guys really enjoyed this box. I had a lot of fun unboxing this on camera for you guys, so I hope that was something entertaining for you. Um, let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. Mine, obviously, is the little candle thing. That's so cool. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you guys next week. Bye!